Hey, hello my fellow humans. It's 3 a.m. I have to work at 8.30. It's kind of, kind of a shitty situation to be in. But I had a, I had a great night. I, um, I went to Sacred Fools to go kind of party after Mulholland Christmas Carol just opened and I, I didn't go to opening night. I wish that I said I didn't have the money, but of course I have the money. Money doesn't matter. I, I have the money in my wallet, so I'm going to go tomorrow night. But um, I went afterwards to hang out with them. At midnight I went over there and uh, had just amazing conversation with uh, my friend Rebecca and Justin, the guy that I met, and Kiff, and uh, Dad and Corey, the list goes on, but Rebecca, it was, it was like a real connection where it was so intense, like I knew she saw reality like I see reality. Not that we aren't constantly growing from each other, but there was this moment of like, where I was like, just like, wow. It's crazy when someone has no anger. And I guess maybe she was just giving that to me because I was giving that to her, no anger. I was just completely relaxed and talking to her. And, and it was about you know, people and everything with no anger. So many people are just so angry. It's hard to get, I mean, it's just a roadblock, you know, it's hard to get deep. And that's what I think, what my favorite part of, of relationships is, is getting deep. If you can do it with no anger, why not? Just probe the depths. It can only help everything. It can only make you, make you more comfortable with people, make the situation better. Me, I say you, but it can only make me more comfortable. It can only make me more comfortable in the situation to do it. So that's why I make myself do it. I realized a lot of things. I, we watched... Uh, me and Kiff watched some TV back at his house. We watched, uh, I've just, I've been, I was watching people all night. I was talking, but I was watching people and watch people interact. And like, you see that we're pack animals. You can feel it. If you're, if you're allowing yourself to feel the situation, you feel the other people following suit, doing what the majority's doing, doing what one personality starts to do. Not even the majority. It's the, and the more people that do it, the more powerful it becomes, the harder it becomes to resist. The more, and then at the same time, the more pure it comes out of one person, a, a feeling or an emotion or a, a thought, a feeling, it's about feeling. The more pure a feeling comes out of one person, whether it be anger or laughter or pain, love, which I think is essentially the same thing openness it's it just spreads we're pack animals it's amazing we really do control our reality and that people are just mirroring back what we're giving at them people are just mirrors they're just a bunch of mirrors and when we say like they're uh, uh, people these people are so negative at work people are such assholes at work or people are so nasty whenever we say about other people it's just because that's what we're giving them but we don't realize it because we all think that we're doing life just fine. We all think that we're connecting with people. We really do. I know I do. I really think I am. But then I realize I always have room for improvement. And pointing out the room for improvement is the key. Saying it out loud. That was quite a trail. It was quite a ride I just went on. I, I let go of reality there for a minute. I let go of my surroundings. It was just talking. Like I just lost 
I wasn't looking at anything. I, my eyes, I mean, I saw stuff, but I wasn't looking at anything. I wasn't hearing anything. I wasn't, I don't remember what I said. That's crazy when that happens. That's meditation. That's like meditation. And I'm glad that I have an opportunity to put on video. It's such an amazing technology. God, it's such an amazing technology to be able to watch yourself do anything, open up, watch yourself, you know, admit that you're uh, a weak, flawed creature that's afraid. Well, I guess it's all perspective. I mean, I am flawed and afraid. I don't know that I'm necessarily weak. Weak is a relative term. I think as human beings go, I'm pretty strong. I'm pretty powerful. I feel powerful. And I guess by powerful, I mean able to affect things in my physical reality, being able to influence people to do things for me. I feel like I have that ability, maybe because of the way I look. Ah, I hate that that's a factor. I feel almost ashamed of it. But looks, I just watched this whole um, Criminal Minds with the show was about this guy who was really attractive. And even at the end, he said to Manny Patinkin, you will never tell anyone that I revisited her. You will never tell anyone. And Manny Patinkin just did what he was told. Like, you have, when you have good looks, you have the power, when you have like a symmetrical, you know, whatever it is, something about the way the face is built. I think, and it's important, is thin, a thin face. Like, as soon as you start to gain weight, people start to think, oh, he's unhealthy. But when you're like thin and you're really just thin, I mean, well, no, I mean, I don't know. I see I'm ashamed of it. I'm ashamed of the physical reality in a way, of my own. I, mean, I feel like, I guess I'm an attractive guy. I never really thought of it in my life. I never really accepted it, that I was an attractive guy. I always thought I was, I never thought I was an attractive guy, ever. Still, I, I feel weird. I don't want to, because I feel like as soon as I, you know what, as soon as I accept that I'm an attractive guy, that what will happen is, oh wow, my mind doesn't want to remember this. As soon as I accept that I'm an attractive guy, then I'm going to want to, it will, it will manifest it and I will start to want to control my reality. I can't get the thought out, my, my, my mind won't let me. As soon as I accept, I have to breathe, relax, take a moment. Um, as soon as I accept that I'm attractive, all of a sudden that my ego is gonna go out of control. If I accept that I'm an attractive person, my ego will make me take advantage of people with it. Because now that I've accepted it, I will abuse it. But that's not the way it works. You have to accept your fear. You have to f beat your fear into submission, like what I just did about being attractive, and, and not be afraid of it. Because no, I'm not gonna abuse the way I fucking look. It's nothing about the way I look. How I look has nothing to do with it. It will never have anything to do with it. How I look is, is random. We're all the same. The fact that I'm thin is not random. The fact that I'm thin is by choice. I know it's controversial and I've never been overweight and I don't want to speak as if I am overweight, but I felt myself get overweight when I started drinking started eating pasta all the time even when I wasn't hungry. I gained like 25 pounds, 30 pounds, and it would have kept going, but I stopped drinking. I know what happens when you gain weight. I was playing a lot of video games, World of Warcraft, nonstop in Chicago, just eating pasta every day, drinking beer all the time. And I just was totally indulging in life, and I was gaining weight. And moving to LA was nice because you can't drink and drive in LA. I mean, you can't drink and drive anywhere, but you, you really can't drink and drive in L.A. because the cops are out in force. You're busted. I mean, plus, there's so many people on the road. There's just people everywhere. You don't want to, I don't know, drinking and driving, it's a risk. Not that don't ever do it. I mean, I've done it twice, three times maybe, at least two, I think maybe three. And I'm not proud of it, but sometimes it's a risk you have to take. Sometimes you just people live risky. And I do that occasionally in serious moderation. The more I drink, the less moderately I live. So drinking and eating and all that, I, I gained weight, but, but I'm diverting from the point of physical attractiveness, which is a fear of mine. 
because I've never been attractive and now to all of a sudden think I'm attractive and think that, wait, all this stuff that I thought I was saying that people were listening to, it's actually about the way I look. That, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to think that. You know, it's, it's hard for me to accept that for some reason. I get sad, but okay. So part of the reason why people listen to me is because I'm attractive. Is it because of my attractive, attractive, attractive. Part of the reason why people listen to me is because I'm attractive because that's what charisma is. I'm not comfortable right now at all talking about this and knowing that I'm going to put it online because it's very self-indulgent and I don't hope that you are not going getting angry listening to this. I hope that you haven't shut it off because it's so self-indulgent, but I think it's okay. I think it's healthy to be self-indulgent. I'm not here to hurt people. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I'm here to create a positive environment for myself. To the fullest of my ability and, and I want I want your help I want your help please in the anger it's that's the killer but there's a reason for the anger the anger it's natural and everybody feels it and there's a reason for it and that's the important thing make a video about what's making you angry Make a video about, not about me, but in your life, what you're not talking about. What's the most painful experience you've ever had? I'll leave you with that. Because now it's like a conversation, which is the most important thing. What's the most painful experience you've ever had? And then, maybe I'll make a video response to that too. See you later.